All right, we're interrupting our regular programming here uh, to, to weigh in on a thing. People have been asking me a long time about the disc brake debate. Uh, I've not weighed in. It's been seven years now, and I've yet to see someone explain it the way I think it needs to be explained. Um, and, and recently, uh, Chris Froome uh, did a little post. He loves trolling folks on the disc brake thing, uh, and that kind of stirred it back up. So here we go. You see on my channel, you'll see me riding a rim brake bike. Uh, because I ride uphill. <laughs> That's what I do. Uh, I did the Mount Washington hill climb. You don't even have brakes on the bike at all for that. You drive down. Normally I drive down the hills for these. Uh, braking is not what I, what I look for in my content for the most part. Um, for 99% of the riding that I do, that, that bike, I, I do disc brakes. That, that rim brake uh, Factor 02 VAM stayed in the bike bag between Mount Washington in August and my trip to, to Europe. The reason that I brought it, um, Orcase is my bike bag sponsor. Uh, they don't have a bike bag for like the integrated uh, sort of the the Ostro the Aero bike style uh, headsets at the moment. So it's but that bike you have to take the fork out, and it's just a lot easier to travel with the Rim Ray bike when all I'm doing is going up a hill uh, in good weather. For for everything else I do, I'm on disc brake bikes, and disc brake bikes are better. In the specific context, this is a failure. I think a little bit of the marketing of uh, of the bike industry, especially a few years ago, it's it's getting better now with more folks like me around. But when they'd come out with something new, the all they would sort of have is like, oh, make the pros race it. Even if the product wasn't really designed to be better uh, for the application of professional racing. Like a few years back when Specialized came out with their new aluminum frame, which is designed for like budget riders, but all they could think of for marketing was make Peter Sagan race it at the Tour Down Under. Peter Sagan's needs are not the same as your needs. So when it comes to a closed course, when it comes to, to Chris Froome in a breakaway, wheel changes matter. When you're surrounded only by professionals who know how to ride, when, the, when it's a closed road, um, when your bike is impeccably maintained every day by mechanics who are replacing your, your rim pads, um, in, that, in that specific instance, I'm gonna say a rim brake bike makes the most sense, especially for a solo breakaway. Uh, you know, if you have a slow wheel change in the pack, it's easy to get back. It's not a big deal. You stop to pee anyway. Uh, you, you have the cars, you get back. If you're in a solo brake and it takes 15 seconds to change a rim brake wheel versus a minute to change a disc brake wheel, uh, that is a valid point where, where the rim brake bike is superior. In every other instance, <laughs> in every other instance, uh, all I do is ride my disc brake. I ride, I ride in the city, I ride in traffic. Um, I occasionally ride in weather, I try not to, um, but you're going down a hill and a car pulls out of the driveway in front of you and you're just coming to a stop, you know, five, six feet shorter with the disc brakes and that's when I ride in the city, I just feel safer. So we have the tech advancement, but they're not going to do like separate SKUs and multiple inventories of all the bike shops. So they had to choose and they prioritize the customer over what's essentially the, the pro teams and marketing vehicle which I think is appropriate. You'll see these conspiracy theories, oh, they're trying to make us buy new stuff. Oh, and it is a superior technology in the same way, like, you know, and the car company is trying to make us use ABS brakes and airbags. Yeah, disc brakes, they had their, you know, there were some upsides, some downsides. There's, there's currently the, the new 12 speed. Uh, they're less likely to, to warp and make any noises. I, I haven't had that yet with my, with the, the new 12 speed at all. It is improving, but the, the conspiracy has been, you know, where do you find out what the, the airline CEOs get paid when, you know, the government bails them out to not, so they won't fire uh, all their employees and they lay everybody off anyway, and they still get bonuses. Like, if you want to get mad about something, uh, zoom out. There's a lot more to get mad at than, uh, than you know, big cycling business, but relatively small business uh, trying, to, trying to make a few extra bucks with, with improved technology. All right, so that's that. That's off my chest. Uh, feel free to debate in the comments. I'm not going to read anymore. I've said my piece. All right, and Froomey, he's, he's going to come around. I know it. I know you're going to come around. <laughs>